There we go. Oh, you can't see it yet. <laughs> All right. You guys ready for some jalopy? Play Fury? I could play Fury. Did we play Fury last time? Like, uh, I mean, last time I played Fury, did it, was it on stream? But you know when farmers fertilize the fields? What? <laughs> what? What about farmers fertilizing their fields? That might be a little bit too quiet now. Let me find the perfect volume. I think that's good. Is that good? Look at my fucking car. Looking swagalicious, isn't it? I have $347. I'm just kidding, jalopy is fine. Then let's play some jalopy. Let me quickly, uh... Switch the game. Oops. Why is that still up? Uh, is that even a category? Jalopy. Yes, it is. And it has more than 10 viewers now. I think. No, not quite. <laughs> okay. So, Jalopy is a game where you just fucking drive around, like, all the fucking time. Oh, shit, you can't see the loading screen? Aw. Okay, you can. Never mind. Loading. Uncle is back? What? He's back? Okay. Uh, let me explain to you how the game really works. Okay, so... Oh, shit. Uncle is not back. You lied to me. Okay, I used to have an uncle, but he... Well, he stayed behind. Um, so we've got this car. This jalopy. And I've already swagged it out with a whole bunch of stuff. Um, let me show you. I got this in the Humble Bundle Monthly. So we have all this, sh this super cool shit. I should probably repair some of it. Oh yeah, I should definitely repair some of it. Do I still have repair tools? Yes, I do. Okay. So you basically need to take care of every single part in your car at all times. You need to make sure that it has enough power to drive you where you need to go. So you really need to pay a lot of attention to what's going on under the hood of your car. Do I want that two-stroke oil? I might. Do I have two-stroke oil still? I do. But that can is almost empty. Okay, so we're filling out our uh, fuel tank right now to make sure we have a little bit more fuel for our journey, wherever the heck it's going to go. We need... Uh, actually, let me not do that one by one. Oops. That was the wrong button. Uh, you can carry three items at a time, which is why I'm doing this. Okay, we're going to fill some... Water in the water tank. Just to make sure we can use the wipers, for example. We're gonna fill the fuel tank with some oil. So that it's gonna run more smoothly. We're gonna put the rest of the oil in the trunk. So we have some for the journey. Our engine is still slightly smoking. But that's okay. We're probably gonna come across some shit on the way anyway. Is there anything I want to take with me? I don't think so. We have some tires, but I think those tires are good. I think I just changed those, actually. Yeah, those look pretty good. Okay. Then let me actually take two to, like, stash in the car. So that if one of them pops... I can uh, just change them on the road quickly. There we go. Alright, and uh, we're basically ready to go. Okay, I wrote down the freezer stuff for you. I'll think what else might be useful grown up in for free. That sounds like I'm literally so new at being grown up. Oh yeah, we can also like clean our car, but I did that before 
Uh, I stopped the game last time, so we're good on that. Okay, you guys want to drive to... Uh, where are we going to go? I think Dresden. You guys want to go to Dresden? We're in the GDR. It's like 1990, I think. So the border's just opened up. We can take the short route or one of the longer ones. How about route, route 3? It's got, like, a sun symbol because it's, like, it's good weather. Let's do that. Um, it's going to lag for a second because it's going to calculate everything and we're good to go. All right. Keys are in the in the visor thingy. Put them in. Start up the car and here we go. And this what you're seeing right now <laughs> is most of the game. <laughs> well, that's not entirely true. Um this game is a lot about like maintaining your car properly. Like you're going to drive it a lot, so obviously it's going to break down sometimes. You're going to have to deal with uh, fuel, you're going to have to deal with parts breaking down, you're going to have to deal with uh, selling stuff as well to like afford all of that shit. So you're going to find those boxes on the side of the road every once in a while, and uh, there's going to be stuff in there like wine, tobacco, medicine, all sorts of trading goods. And you can trade those at gas stations for money or goods and services. So, yeah, that's that's basically the whole gist of it. I already got some pretty good car parts in my car, so that's why I'm going so fast, and uh, we're not going to have to worry about, like, parts breaking down so soon, and what is that? Okay, that's nothing. I imagined there was a box, but there wasn't. So yeah, this is basically a road trip simulator. And I kind of like it. I don't know why. It's just nice. And this is uh, where my uncle sat before, but he's gone. We've got $347 or... Wait, is it dollars? Or is it... Uh, 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 Deutsche Mark. It's probably Deutsche Mark. Okay. So, how do you guys feel? about this. About everything. Talk to me. Look at that. Look at that car. They basically all look the same. This is like... Uh, the early... Well, it's 1990, like I said, so... This is basically what all, all cars in Germany looked like at the time. I'm lying. It's not. But this is definitely, like, uh, uh, modeled after one of the most popular cars at the time. The Trabi. Or Trabant, I guess. That's what they called it. I know you guys are gonna, like, think this is boring to play, but it's actually really fun. Reason being that you need to take care of so much shit. And it sounds like work, but it's a fun work simulator. I don't know. You can even turn on the radio. If you get real bored. Uh -huh. Oh. Of course I can understand them because I am German. People only bought the Trabant because there were no alternatives. I guess the Trabant was a jalopy as well. Jalopy, I guess, is synonymous for a shitty car. Wait, where am I going? Road is blocked there, so I guess I'm going this way? Can we be drug smugglers going over the border? Actually, we can! That's also <laughs> a feature in this game. If you have, like, something that is banned in the country you want to cross over, because we're gonna cross a lot of borders, and if you have something that is banned in the next country, then you can literally smuggle it. Stuff like wine or medicine. And I guess medicine could be seen as drugs. So yeah, we literally can.
There's a lot of cracks in my windows, by the way. I'm not sure where those are from. I used to be very, very good at driving. I guess I just didn't ca take care of it enough. Alright, let me take you through the proceedings of uh, being at a gas station. Basically, what we want to do is gas up our car. Medical alcohol. Looking at you, Tintin. Oh, gosh. What was that? Heard a car. Okay. We can take a look at our engine here as well. And you'll see some of the components uh, have decreased in durability. So we're going to want to buy a, um, a toolkit to repair them. Uh, we have some stuff we could sell. Oh, the medicine is really fucking expensive here. So we're going to sell that for sure. Not sure about the coffee beans. Okay, let's put that back. Put that back. So we have a lot of coffee in here that we don't want to get rid of right now because they're not as expensive to sell. But the pharmaceuticals we have right here... 32.50 dollars a piece. So we just got 65 dollars by selling those. And we want one of those engine repair kits. Beep. Uh, anything else? Yeah, I know. Um, we have water. We have tires. Stuff we don't need. We have fuel. Oh yeah, we need to fuel up our car. So we're really quickly going to go outside. And... Take the pump. And make sure we're all filled up. Uh, yep. Okay. Which also means we're gonna have to add more fuel mix. Oil mix, sorry. And we're good! Well, apart from the... <laughs> from the parts breaking now. Just trying to help out a brother, Talis. I've been living on a student budget for a while now. I got it down. My budget isn't insanely small, but I do manage to save some money here and there. Yeah, it's important to be able to do that when you're living on your own, I suppose. Okay, so with the toolkit that we are buying, how much do we get? $44. That's a pretty good deal, considering we came here with less. Okay. So the gate opens again because we uh, just legitimately got our stuff. Okay. We might go for another one. We might go for another repair kit. What is the origin story of the driver? Um, the sad thing is, you're not getting any of the story because I already beat the game. <laughs> I already did what was required of me and so you don't really see the story. Basically, your uncle wakes you up and says, Hey, let's go on a road trip. And uh, on the journey, you realize he has all this letter, all these letters in his, like, uh, in his suitcase. Which, which is there. That's his suitcase. And basically, what you learn is um, he want, wanted to go to Turkey, which we're going to drive to, um, to put the ashes of uh, his... His nephew to rest. Uh, and so we left him there. So basically this is just a road trip simulator. We're just we're just some German helping our uncle deliver the ashes of his nephew. Or son, I guess. I don't know. I guess maybe son. Hey Arnor, how's it going, my dude? Dang, yeah, I know. It was really sad when the uncle wasn't there anymore, because he literally was there all the time that we drove. Look, I drove 7,597 kilometers. We can be rum runners during Prohibition, bringing illegal alcohol over the Canadian border to speak easies in Chicago for Al Capone. Waiting for Skook's head exploding with weird words. Oh, that's not so weird, no. Um, we're gonna go over several borders in this game. First of all... German to Czechoslovakia. And yes, uh, back in 1990, it was still Czechoslovakia, so it wasn't two different countries. It was uh, one, 
big countries. So it was Czechoslovakia, and uh, that is made up of nowadays Czechia and uh, Slovakia. Done good. Another long day at the lab, trying to finish up a batch of samples in one big assault. Sounds good. What are you? What are you doing? What are you? Uh, what are you laborating on? <laughs> BRB, I got a call. All right, living. Oh shit! I might have just gone into opposite traffic. Tankstelle. Let's back up. Dresden. It's gonna be a lot of German words for now because we are in Germany. I think I'm supposed to go here. <laughs> so this game is all about driving. If you guys aren't into that, I'm so sorry. But we can still t keep talking the way we have been before. So don't shy away from, you know, sharing your life story with... Oh god, it's getting foggy? Oh, because it's getting late as well. Shit. We waste a lot of time. But our jalopy is pretty fast for what it is, so... I'm not mad. Got stomachs from cod, headock, and pollock from f from. Oh shit! Hang on. Pollock from fishing ships in different areas. I analyze the food prey content of the fish. Oh shit! That sounds like fun. Is it fun, or <laughs> do you actually see it as like work, as like backbreaking work? In which case, I'm sorry for saying that it's fun. Probably. Ah, uh, come on, Jalopy. Truth is, I maxed out almost all of the engine uh, parts, except the engine itself. The engine itself is a really weak ramshackle engine. We want a new one. So we're gonna get one. As soon as we can. But there are other things we can still buy, like the tool rack, the updated ones. I have respect for bootleggers, the first true car tuners. Hell yeah, dude. Ah, oh, look at this. This is fun. This is a true road trip. I mean, I'm not sure where I'm going because it's really fucking foggy. Actually, hang on. There we go. That's probably a little better. Um... Yeah, as you can see, you can control the car a lot as well. Oh, there's a car somewhere. Not on this side of the road, though. Too bad. You can honk. Monitoring the health of the fish. Oh god, now it's getting critical. I'm driving very fast. Oh, but I think we are in Dresden. Yeah, we are here. So I can turn that off. I just drove over something. Um, monitoring the health of the fish. How much they manage to feed. And also get a picture of the smaller species, the prey. Like, if suddenly a species of crap disappears from the regular areas. Oh, it can be very stinky if the fish ate another fish, but we sometimes see interesting prey. Octopus, squids, one crab had a whole intact crab inside of it, etc. <laughs> Holy shit, that's metal. Most I've done with mine is replace windshield wipers and brush gravel out of the engine compartment. There is a lot of shit you need to do here, my dude. There's a lot of shit you need to do here. You're gonna have to take care of every single little part of the engine. I can open an, uh, the hood up in a second and show you. Alright, so this is our first city, we're in Dresden, a beautiful German city, we're gonna go to the motel, um, doesn't look like our car needs repairs right now because nothing is smoking or, you know, majorly happening. Alright, so let's see, um, I always forget doing this, always. Alright, looks good. I mean, we lost some durability on some of these, but they're still in good condition. Our battery has 12% charge, so we should take a, take care of that at some point. But apart from that, everything looks fairly good. Let's see, the tires, 2 of 3, 2 of 3, I think that's uh, interesting. Okay, so we're gonna have to take care of that at some point. Alright, um... Cod, I meant. Oh, cat that had a whole crap in the stomach. Cod, dang it, this keyboard. 
Darn western states in the U.S. are huge. Drive seven hours to the straight state border. Car breaks down, find the nearest farm three miles away. That sounds... That sounds like fun, actually. My brother drove into the ditch once and some covers fell off. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I wanted to show you. Well, I mean, I guess you just saw it, but I'm going to show you again. Just for good measure. So, you see all this, all these parts here, like the engine, the carburetor, the um, air filter, the ignition coils, the fuel tank, the water tank, and the battery. You're going to have to care for each and every single one of these items, especially the air filter, the carburetor, and the engine itself, because those tend to break down faster. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait a second. It's not a ramshackle engine, is it? No, it's a squash engine. Holy shit. Okay, never mind. I guess I did max out all the parts already. So all that remains is the tool rack that I want to buy. Okay. So over there is the gas station. I guess we can check out all the shit there. Thing is also, I'm not going to fuel up the car unless it has like very little fuel left. Okay, let's see. Well, we've got a f we've got a few engine repair kits, but I don't think I want to have those sausages. We don't need. Okay, I think we're good on these. No fuel injection. What is this? The 1950s? It's actually the 1990s. The earliest of 1990s. 1990. Um, but I know what you mean. It has like a drop down fueling system, so you need to, like... Oh! Lagging the shit out of it. Greetings, says Laika employee. I realize you can't really read that. Hang on. There we go. That's probably better. Okay, let's see. Now I can't read chat. Introduction, blah blah blah. Okay, so here we buy shit. Uh, since I literally have the best of everything... I literally do have the best of everything. Um, upgrades. Tour rack. Oh man, I'm just lacking just a little bit. Thing is, I also need money for the hotel, so I can't really afford it. But he has it in stock, which is not a guaranteed thing. I might have to sell those coffee beans that I have in the trunk. Okay, how much is the motel? It's 20. That's not much. So the motel is 20. And I have... 376, so I need... Uh, 44... 44 bucks in order to afford it. How many coffee beans do I have? Two, four, six, seven. Seven times three points. That's not enough. I could sell the fuel can. You know what? Now that I have such a huge ass fucking gas tank, I mean, we can. My. <laughs> Let me know we can visit my aunt and uncle together 21st of May. So that's nice. Your your what? <laughs> I think you I think you missed a few words there. All right, I should have brought You know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to sell this fuel tank, sell all the coffee beans. I want that fucking upgrade so damn bad. My mom. Okay. There we go. Sounds good. I hope you have fun on your little road trip yourself. Damn typing. I was driving in some small mountains and put my car in the ditch right next to the road. Tow truck guy was amused since there was no houses for about five miles. Oh shit. Um, let me take one of these. Oh, wait a minute. If I leave this place, do I lose the money? <laughs> uh, gonna make sure that I can actually keep my money. Just in case. 
I was gonna go back to the car anyway, so let's not waste the time or anything. That sounds awful, Talus. I mean, I can still imagine it could be fun to be just in the middle of nowhere with a broken down car. Because I'm the adventurous type. Okay. So that's that. I shouldn't have bought the tires, I just realized. I think that's the part that screwed me over. Okay. So these boxes are insanely useful. And sometimes people steal them from the gas stations, but I don't. I'm a good guy. Trust me. It's really strange to sometimes realize how huge the states are in the US. You know what? I realize that nothing is fucking huge anymore. I've traveled so much now that I realized, hey, stuff is literally right around the corner. Wait a minute, what? Are you kidding me? That's not... No. No. No! What the fuck? I want to pick that up. Oh my god. I can't put them back? How dare you. Wait, what? They're going in the same... Oh my god. I think my game has just glitched out. I can't get that anymore. Oh my god, what have you done? I hate you. Okay. I'm not making business with you. You vile woman. I thought we... Oh, man. Smuggling those precious coffee beans, I see. Yeah, yeah. Um, Colorado, not bad to be lost in. Death Valley in California, bad idea. I'm guessing you have no reception there either, do you? That would be bad, of course. But at the same time, kind of fun. I imagine. Okay, we lost some coffee on our way. Don't ask me how the fuck that happened. Eh. Okay. We're not gonna sell shit. Hi, Tarth Eleanor. How are you doing? If I would drive seven hours from my hometown, I am either in the middle of Germany or France. Yeah. I like I like the size of countries in Europe. I mean, Germany is a pretty big country, and so is France, actually. Oh, shit. I forgot my wallet. Hang on. Fucking wallet. What's that? Nothing. You know, we had some bad luck as well, though. Like, we could have come across so much shit on the road. But we didn't. Scarcity of tobacco in CSFR. Hi again. There you go. Thank you. Yes. Okay, thanks. Um, smuggling. Yep. I made it. Hi, Skook. How are you doing, Tarth Eleanor? At least no bears or moose trying to kill you in the Death Valley, I guess? Is that so? I visited Europe, you guys live too close together for me. Uh, it depends on where in, in Europe. I can't imagine it any other way. Man, like I said, when you when you start traveling a whole bunch, you realize how small the world actually is. And it's kind of nice to think about. Like, you always think of the Earth as being such a huge fucking ball of Earth and rock and water. But it's actually not that big. It's expensive to travel, but it's not necessarily far. And I like that idea. Okay, so maybe if we're lucky, the coffee beans will have increased in value. No, they didn't. Oh, wait, I think I need to decide for a route before we do that. Okay. But it is huge, Skook. We are just very efficient at traveling long distances now. No, it's not that huge. It's really not. Like, one... Like, maybe I just feel that way because I traveled so fucking much in my life now. But it's really not as big as you think. Because, like, especially in the past few weeks, I've been driving so much around Germany. And Germany is not a small country. But 
it feels like nothing when you when you're on the road and realize like I haven't I'm, I'm not even talking about flying I'm talking about driving I'm talking about you know driving through the cities through the countryside you realize there's not that many cities there's not that many places there's not that much city there's not that much of people in the world I mean it sounds like a lot but really man just I don't know I have the feeling earth used to feel a lot bigger before I started traveling I mean, going from Europe to Asia used to be months and months by boat. Yeah, that's true. Cars make it a lot easier. Hmm, I guess. NL is just a tiny country, so my experience doesn't seem like a fair experience. Maybe. Maybe. Look at that! Three routes, all the same size. Let's go... I mean, those are literally the same route, it seems. Um, let's go for that one, because we know there's a gas station on our way. Today on Existential Science Hour with Scoop, we are small and insignificant creatures in the vast expanse of space. That's true. Sorry to say, but that's true. We are so small and insignificant when it's, uh, when we're talking about the universe. Coffee beans, literally without value. Great. Great. Good. Oops. Can I have your liver then? No. Okay. Getting out of here. Ah. Okay. So I'm doing this because we're about to hit a checkpoint. Goodbye, Leica upgrade. I would have loved to have you. But I'm lacking just a tiny bit of money. Okay, get your passport ready. Because we're gonna cross over into Czechia. Czechoslovakia, sorry. Coffee is banned! Are you fucking serious? Coffee beans are banned. That's good, actually. That's really good. Because that means they're gonna be more expensive over there. Okay, you know what? Remember how I said I did I don't steal these containers from the uh from the gas station? Well, now it's time. I'm gonna show you how to smuggle coffee beans into a country where they are banned. Don't show this on... <laughs> don't show this on the real Twitch. Remember, we're on the dark web Twitch right now. I like how the stop sign doesn't have a stop word. Put them up your butt? Nah. I'm not about that life anymore. I mean, I never was. Okay. So we're gonna get this container where we can fit all the coffee beans in because it's gonna be easier. Not necessarily because we have to. So it's not even a given that the guys will check your trunk. So you might be good just driving through the checkpoint. But we don't want to risk it since if they catch us, it's gonna be expensive. I think. I never, I never really uh, did get caught. So I don't know how expensive it really is. So we're going to put all of those coffee beans in here. Going to grab the container to close the trunk. I forget. And we're going to put that up there. Going to sit in the car. And take them. And now we can start the car up. Take the container again. And they're basic they basically won't be able to tell that we have them. Okay, just slowly drive into the checkpoint. Guy's gonna be like, papers please. So we're gonna be like, here you go, sir. Ignore the coffee beans that I am holding in my hand. Oh, the guy is checking the trunk this time. Look at, look at how grim he looks. He has like no chin. Okay, everything seems in order because they didn't find any beans. 
And we can just... Go on. Goodbye, idiots. And that's how you smuggle drugs. Um, coffee beans. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Well, now I want to hear the adventures of a younger smuggling skook. Hey, it's gonna be in the movies. Look at how easy that was. I didn't even know. I mean, the value still says zero, so I'm a little worried about that. But it should be okay. I think they usually show the price near the next gas station, so maybe we need to just drive a little longer. Sup, Scudder Nutter? Hey, Evermore! How are you doing, bud? Check your trunk. Ouch. Holds illegal coffee beans in hands. Nope, nothing to see here, sir. Papers, please? That's another game. Oh, man, we should play that too at some point. I like that game. Oh, um, because it's rainy now, my tires are a little bit wonky. Because they're designed for, like, uh, um, dry roads. They're not designed for wetness. Cause no trouble. Glory to our Stutska. I have this other streamer I watch, and they I swear they specifically wait for me to be sleeping or at work. Aw, evermore. And the drug-smelling dog comes up and blows it for you. Nah. They can't smell shit I hold in my hands. Talking about other games. Have you downloaded Mass Effect? Uh... I think so? I need to check again. But for now, we play Jalopy. I feel like Mass Effect is also a very f difficult game to stream. I don't know. But I'm up for it. Whoops, uh, just drove against something, don't worry. I'm a good driver. And we're going to Sturavo. Okay, so now you're gonna see there's like puddles in the road and shit. So that's gonna get our car dirty. There's also potholes which are, will damage our car, so we need to be careful. Alright, I'm off to be a filthy weep. Evermore! Evermore, no! I thought you were going to stay a while and listen, but it's okay. Have fun, buddy. Is this like in Eastern Europe? The city name sounds like that. Yeah, this is uh, Czechoslovakia. So it's not very Eastern, but fairly, fairly Eastern. I really want to show you some boxes you can find on the side of the road. The game is not giving me much to go on right now. Let's go for some radio. Not really. If you play uh, ME Easy Mode, I bet you can read chat. No, I'm not talking about like reading chat. I'm talking more about. Oh, there's a there's a box. There's two boxes even. Guys, we've hit the mother load. Okay, I need to really quickly check what I just got on my Skype. Yeah. Um, why was coffee banned, though? I don't know, they ban random things in this game. I can stay if you want, but this game is shit. How dare you? How dare you? There's three boxes. Holy shit. We hit the mother load, guys. Okay, let's see what's in this. What does Czechoslovakia have to do with coffee? I don't know, they just don't like... You know, c coffee is a drug, technically speaking. Medicine? Blah. Okay, what's in this? Wine! Fuck yeah! Wine is like the most expensive thing in this game. Okay, and what's in the other one? Tobacco. Which I guess sells for a pretty good price as well. Alright! Serious caffeine addiction? Yeah. That's also true. You can get addicted to caffeine, so... Oh shit. Oh shit, we're not getting away from this, are we? Come on, little little jalopy. You can do it. 
Filling up the trunk nicely. Hell yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. Interesting, found a website comparing country sizes to the sizes of U.S. states. Germany is about the size of Montana. Montana also has highways with no speed limit. Oh, that is interesting. Coincidence? I think not. But I think... Oh, there's another box! Guys, we're getting really fucking lucky right now. Okay, what's in there? More wine? Textiles. Ah, fuck textiles. Textiles are the worst. What you gonna do with all that junk? All that junk inside your trunk. I'm gonna 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 sell it. And possibly get an upgrade to my tool rack. Montana takes fucking forever going west to east, while well, Germany does too. Well, Germany takes more time to go uh, north to south, actually. Because we're a country that is more big in, like, longitude than, uh, than the other. Wideitude. Come on, little guy. You can do it. I hate how you can't see in the mirrors, but I saw a version of, uh, of this game where you could. I bet there that there isn't a state as tiny as NL. There's states tinier than Nether the Netherlands. I mean, look at uh, fucking Delaware or Connecticut or Rhode Island. Those are fucking tiny, smaller than the Netherlands. I think the Netherlands might be about the size of Maryland. Rhode Island is quite small. Ah, poor Rhode Island. <laughs> he tries his best. Aw. Now I feel bad for Rhode Island. Ooh. Okay, dirt road. Not that good for... for dry road tires. Our car is gonna get so fucking dirty. You best believe it. There's also a lot of potholes? In this dirt road, which is amazing, all things considered. Oh shit, we're gonna have to off road it for a little. I mean, we're already kind of off roading it because this is not a road. Maryland is about the same size, yeah. Hell yeah, I'm getting so good at American geography. You guys don't even know. I could probably name all the 50 US states by now. Maybe, I don't know. Small boys. Okay, this is where difficulty comes in. The US could have been ours. What if only that one congressman or something like that hadn't gotten attacked by pirates on his way there? What's the story there? But can you sing them? Uh, maybe? Texas, Colorado, Arizona, New Mexico, New York, and Delaware. And a lot of others. <laughs> no, I can probably name them all. I would just need to concentrate on it really hard. Hey, Hired Cam, how are you doing, bud? Locations are still a bit vague for me, but maybe 10 states or so in the north and the east coast. Those are exactly the ones the coasts that I wouldn't be able to name. We're a good match, because you can you can tell about the north and the east coast, and I can tell about the west and the south coast. Fucking west coast. Alright, we need to open the, the, the hood, the bonnet. Rhode Island is about the same size as Cap Verde and French Polynesia, bigger than Liechtenstein. Now it has to go see Infinity War. S wish me luck. Good luck, dude! Oh uh, yeah, I hear there's a lot of stuff happening in that movie, so good luck indeed. Um, how much fuel do we have? Uh, more than enough. I don't need to fuel that. But I need to repair some shit, so... I'm gonna do that. Well, soon. Nah, nah, nah. Alphabetical order. Oh god. Um... Alabama, Arizona, uh, 
Uh, oh shit. I can I can do it if I go from like west coast to to east coast. Like I can do it if in my brain I go around the states from like west to east, but I can't do it in alphabetical order. Still zero. What the shit? The wine is a good price. But I'm not uh, I've seen better for, though for it. The only price I would really consider worth selling things for is tobacco. Or Tsikurat. I believe it was mostly about which language should be the first language of the US. English or Dutch. His vote would have swayed it to Dutch, but he never arrived there due to pirates. That sounds so metal. Have fun, Tarth. Yeah, have fun, Tarth. Fucking robbing me. Being Dutch could have been fun. <laughs> There's a legit song of this, by the way. Really? Or, or do you mean the countries? The Animaniacs had an all 50 states. Oh yeah, I remember actually. I remember. It was weird seeing a map of Europe with cities from NA laid on it. Are you sure? It's cities from NA and not just cities of Europe that are also in, in, in NA because you guys tend to steal our countries, our cities' names. And don't even pretend like you don't. Okay. Boom. Uh, no dirt? Not even on the tires. Wow, I did a pretty good job driving them. Okay, our tire our tires are gonna pop though, by the way, at some point. That uh, was a comparison of latitudes. Yeah, we borrowed a lot of name ideas. You did. I saw that. It's pretty close to the size of Europe. New York used to be New Amsterdam. The term Yankees also comes from us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually know these things. I think you actually told me about the Yankees. Uh North America is NA. Yes, I know. Like Las Vegas was in Italy. If I recall correctly. I don't know about Las Vegas. But you guys also have like Berlin. I mean New York is named after York of course in England. You have Berlin. You have Amsterdam. You have Paris. You have all those names. There's a lot of names you borrow from us Europeans. And you're pretty shameless about it. But we don't really mind. Because we see it as flattery. Guys obviously like us, even if you like to deny that fact sometimes. New Zealand, we have a province called Zeeland. Yeah, but that's something different, I think. Oh, actually it might not be. It might not be. I know what you mean now. I think I know what you mean. I never thought about that. Northeast segment is literally called New England. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You guys have a New Jersey? There's a Jersey in England. Ah, shit. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I know why there's no dirt on the car. There's no dirt on the car because it's literally raining. Also, I'm not even driving right now. The car is sliding right now. I'm not- I'm not hitting W. Gotta believe me. New Zealand, we have a pro- yeah, 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 I read that. <laughs> shit, I'm getting caught up in my shit. I'm so frustrated that er everything we, like, collected so far sells for, like, so little. Ooh! Driving off-road. Sorry. Not paying attention. You'd think the rain would clear those puddles, by the way. At least a little. Like, come on. Where's Sturovo? Are we there yet? 70 kilometers. Okay, we can we can make it. Gotta try and find some gold bars, my dude. There's no gold bars in this game. I'll tell you what there is in this game. Wine, tobacco, coffee, 
One tobacco coffee. Medicine. Textiles. And sausages. <laughs> That's all the six things that exist in this game. That you can sell. Well, I guess you can also sell parts of your car. But why would you do that? Unless you're, like, in serious money trouble. Oh, what's this? Oh, shit! Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. There's probably some shit around here. Maybe. Maybe? I mean, maybe not. Like this map. Pirate cam, no! We shall cry for our lost brother. Hmm. Yeah, he smuggled these sausages. Dang it. Aw. I'm sorry. I could permit you, but... I'm in seriously... I'm in serious search mode right now. I know there's a bridge. It's over here. Very imaginative immigrants. Welcome to New York. Virginia, Elizabeth, the Virgin Queen. Jamestown, King James the First. Is that a fucking pothole? In the middle of the train tracks? That doesn't seem safe. Okay, can I pass here? I can? That's weird. I guess you can drive over here? If the other bridge is out? How far can you go? All the way? Across the sky? I guess you can. Holy shit, I didn't expect that. I need to go back though. My car is still back there. Wait, I look away for a second and you're walking on train tracks? A lot of things happened in the last two minutes. My car exploded. I almost drowned. And now we walk this lonely road, the loneliest that I have ever known. Don't know where it goes. Uh, I forgot the lyrics, never mind, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, forgot the lyrics, never mind. Okay, there's our car. Does that mean the precious coffee cargo is lost? Nah, it's fine, it's still, it's still sitting in the trunk. I just thought maybe I'd find some shit here, but I was wrong. What's that, by the way? <gasps> what the fuck is that? Seriously, what is that? A body. <laughs> you know what, you might be right. We never saw our uncle again. And I don't think this was here on the first trip. Oh my god. We have a body in our car. Monka fucking S, dude. Okay, just just drive. Just drive. Just keep driving. Never look back. Skook sees a light at the end of the tunnel. He feels hope. Then gets hit by an oncoming train. Wow. Oh, is that a fan fiction? That's not very nice. <laughs> Oh, that might have been a pothole. A pothole? A pothole. Okay. Stolovo! Deja vu. I've just been in this place before. Higher on the street. Okay. I was I was just somewhat drifting. I wasn't really drifting all that much. Is this my summer car, but worse? I haven't really heard that much about my summer car. I mean, I've heard the name a lot, but I've never seen it. Kind of interested in seeing what that game is about now. Okay, hold up. Before we go anywhere, I need to know if the prices have changed. Textiles. Coffee beans. No. Medicine. No. No, they haven't. Thank you for fucking asking. Alright, I'm off. Gotta rest up before work. I exercised hard today. Alright, Evermore. Hope you have... A nice resting period. <laughs> I 
I really like this game, though. It's fun. It's provided me with a lot of entertainment. Stop killing pedestrians and hiding them in your car, Scoot. I'm not even sure those are pedestrians. I think that's my uncle. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm only imagining it, but... Man, it might be. It might be my uncle. If so, this game is very twisted. Because I don't remember having this bag on my... On my fucking back seat the first time I came here with my uncle. Building cars and drinking beer in Finland in 1995. Holy shit, that sounds like fucking fun. I need to go to Finland. This summer still. I really need to. Okay, I guess I'm just checking in. Actually, hold up. Let me check something before I do that. How did he get there, though? My uncle? I'm not sure. Maybe he killed himself and then rolled himself up. Wait. Wait a minute. <laughs> Just got more, much more interested in this game? I don't know. Okay, upgrades. Tool rack, level 2. I want you, but I can't have you. Arnor. Oh well. 20 bucks at least, you know. That's not that bad. Prices have gone up to like 45 in like Turkey. That was fucking crazy, dog. Okay. 20 is manageable though. Maybe tomorrow we'll have better prices for shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give the key to me. Uh, Hired Cam, are you Finnish? I forget what nationalities you guys are. Because you might be able to help me with a riddle. I am indeed. Good. Then you might be able to help me. Um, I heard this new song, or I don't know if it's new, but it's new to me on Spotify, and it's Finnish. And I can speak some Finnish, but I'm not really that good in it. Um... And I was wondering if a song, uh, if the song I heard is like, I, I, I just wonder what it means. Uh, have you ever heard the song uh, Toinen Yumala by uh, Apulanta? He can help you finish the riddle. Oh, <laughs> I love you guys. Okay, um, I still want to find out the prices for this day, so I'm just gonna... I know the band, but not the song. Okay, so they, uh, what they sing is Vime yöne Vime yöne mine mite se tarkoita Uh, how did it go? Edjo kutoinen on jumala ja mine en what does that exactly mean? Like, I know what it means, like, roughly translated word for word, but I'm not sure what it means in the big picture. Last night I realized what that means, that someone else is God and I'm not. Oh, that's what it means? That makes so much more sense than what I thought. Last night I realized what that means, that someone else is God and I'm not. I guess that makes more sense. I really like that song, though. Like, holy shit, I listened to it at least 13 times. Oh my god, wine is only f 40 cents? Fuck. Thank you for the quick translation, by the way. Pretty good finish there, bro. Thank you! Thank you. I've had good teachers. Okay, so coffee beans have gone a little... Up a little. Uh, but I'm not impressed. There can be only one. I like their Kones and Kadonut song. My ex was a huge fan. I don't know that song. I literally just found out about them today. I've listened to uh, um, Toinen Yumala and one other, but I can't remember the, the name of it right now. 
viime yönä minä ymmärsin, että mitä se tarkoittaa. A, a, a. I forgot how it goes then. Like, I know how it goes text-wise, but I don't know how it goes melody-wise anymore. Eri oikyu toinen on jumala. Oh, shit. Man, this always happens to me. I guess I could sell the medicine. How much would I need? Wait. They're one of the biggest and longest running punk rock bands in Finland. I heard I heard that about them actually. Um I'm trying to expand yeah, Yamina and like I know how the Yamina and works, but uh I don't remember how they sing the third line, the Etioku Toinen on tu on Yumala. Don't remember it. Talk to Juan. Oops, lost Juan. The Juan and only. <laughs> you love that pun, don't you? Can't I be like an apprentice then, Talis? To what? Oh, silly word jokes? Short? Okay, we need 79. I don't think... Now I gotta listen to that? It's a really good song, I think. It, it was really catchy to me, at least. Okay, so the coffee beans are 1.3. So if I sell six of them, I'm gonna come up to round... Um, to about eight, then that's 17, 18, eh, 19. Great. Fucking hell. Oh, it's really old? Really? How old is it? Um, did we already select a route? I think we did. Yeah. Uh, through Hungary, right? <laughs> Sorry that I'm checking again. Uh, yeah, that's Hungary. Viime yönä mitä ymmärsin, että mitä se tarkoittaa. Joku toinen... See, I can't do it anymore. I sang this song in my head so many times now. Just today. And that line just eludes me. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna fucking check it. The video for Konesen Kadonut is really good too. I'll keep that in mind. I just I just need to know. I just need to know how it goes now. <laughs> Mit mitä se tarkoittaa? Toinen on Jumala. Ja minä en. Viime yhden ymmärsin, että mitä se tarkoittaa. Et joku toinen on Jumala. Ja minä en. Yeah, alright. I, I got it now. <laughs> that had to be, I'm sorry. Konesin Kadonot. What does that mean? Like I said, I can speak some Finnish, but most of it eludes me still. Konesin Kadonot. Hope I even pronounced it right. I just need to know now. And hang on. There we go. It's about a cannon donut. I love you guys. Tobacco is not allowed, but we don't have any, so it doesn't matter to me. Okay, let's see here. Okay, everything seems in order. Thank you. See, this time the guy didn't check my trunk. So they don't always do it. They do it sometimes. I think Hired Cam has gotten lost in Finnish songs. I guess that is part of the suspense. Yep, 
yep, that is part of the suspense. Like, uh, sometimes you'll get through with it, and sometimes you won't. I'm so glad I had someone in chat to finally, like, l translate that better to me than Google Translate did. I mean, like I said, some words I understood. And I understood most of it so that I could, like, kind of piece it together myself. But the one sentence that was really fucking foreign to me was et yoku toinen on yumala. Because doesn't et mean you are not? Or you do not? Skook has an earworm in his head. Here, try got ye. What? No, you're just someone that I used to know. Nah. That's not as earwiggy as, um... As some other songs I heard. Baby Metal has released a new song. Distortion. It's really catchy as well. Oh, by the way, Skook, I was told that apparently you can only play with the original three farmhands on your server. Otherwise, someone's progress gets deleted. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, is that a box? That's a box! You want to check out the contents of that box? What is in the box? I like how we just stop, like, mid fucking drive tobacco <gasps> isn't that like super banned and it's super expensive too look at this and look at how much we found Christ we just hit the mother load yeah we're gonna get rich with this sorry to say but sometimes crime pays <laughs> Especially when you find it on the side of the road. That didn't sound good. Okay. Female. <laughs> oh, shit, there's more! So if you play on your server with two other farmhands, either me or Tam's stats disappear? Aw, oh, that's shit. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to check that out at some point. But I think we're fine, because... I like playing with you guys, if you know what I mean. Sorry. Medicine. Uh, for ten bucks, it's it's kind of worth it still. Okay, so what's that? Tire repair kit. That's probably useful. Did you fucking hear that? Someone just drove into something. Can I not put that anywhere? No. Guys, oh my god. Oh my god, what is going on? Okay, there we go. I can't put the tire repair kit anywhere. It's really useful though. Oh well. I can just plop it down here and I'll be able to pick it up. <gasps> There's a box here as well. Um, okay, what's in the trunk? A battery. Nice. Has a lot of charge. Should probably think about that. The start of that Gautier song is the same notes as Twinkle Twinkle Little... S <laughs> is it? Sounds like fun. I don't know what's in this box. And I don't know how far the next gas station is away, so I'm just gonna... Glitch all of that stuff into the car. I hope you guys don't mind it. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let's check out what's in this box. If we can. Are you serious? I can I can put that in the trunk, I'm pretty sure. I'll get the fuck out. Okay, the battery and the tire repair kit are just gonna glitch with us. I hope you guys are okay with that. I'm <laughs> so sorry. Time to cash in? Hell fucking yes. We just need a gas station. But I think there might be one close by. 
Maybe. I am really not sure. Uh... Where does this go? Uh, nowhere, actually. Never mind. But we can turn here. Aw, oh, that's... That's bullshit. I was really excited about going over this bridge. Keep waiting for this game to go full Grand Theft Auto. Probably played a little... A little too much. Maybe. I mean, this game is not gonna get too much full... Uh, too much Grand Theft Auto. It's weird, I only follow like two Finnish streamers, so hearing Finnish is pretty rare for me here. I am glad to expand your experiences like that. Especially because I'm not Finnish. I like speaking speaking foreign languages. I really do. Oh, they might have hit the Oh no, they they do turn around. Okay. Oh shit, they're on our they're on our Oh shit. Oh no, they're following us. Fuck. Boy. <laughs> Duel Master, how are you doing, mate? Oh shit, is that a gas station? No, that's a oh. It's not a gas station, unfortunately. But it's something else that's really useful, so let us check it out. It's a Schrottplatz. Wait, why is it called Schrottplatz if we're in Hungary? Stock engine. Is the battery dead? No. What does it need then? Ignition coils? Do you need ignition coils? I can provide that. What do you need, my dude? Do you need fuel? Oh, it needs fuel! Do I still have my fuel tank? Yeah, I do. There we go. I feel a, li a little bit too much. I know that I had no idea this game was the Fast and the Furious. Sam, I wish I got more practice in speaking other languages, though. Uh, yeah, me too. Actually, I don't really get to speak other languages a lot, so I'm always happy when I do get to speak them. Triple. Oh shit. If I can repair this, it might be worth selling. Same with this. Fucking carburetor as well. These are worth something. I shouldn't leave them here. I'm gonna fuck it. <coughs> Sneeze. <coughs> Again. Thank you to everyone who says bless you in chat. Watch nobody say bless you in chat, and I'll me just looking like an idiot. Okay. Scoop being a car supply hoarding. <laughs> well Gotta do something to get my money. Look at this. Look at all the shit I have in my oh in my car. Oops. Oh, fuck me. How long am I? About 170 meters. What? Oh, shit. What did I drop? I tried learning Portuguese for my trip to Madeira, but it was pretty much hello and thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I made a channel on my... Jesus Christ, this car is packed with shit now. I tried to make a channel on my Discord for people to help them learn languages, but my trunk is open. That's not good. Matchword! Hey, how are you doing? How am I? I'm feeling very hot because it's super fucking warm. Gesundheit, thank you. Nobody says Gesundheit. That's not true, but thank you. I kidded Dodger that Clark would watch so much anime she would start speaking Japanese. Totally confusing Dodger and Sam. I don't know. I, th I would think they understand some words. <clears throat> Speaking Japanese with a British accent. Oh, dear lord. How are you, Matchword? Having a good time, I hope. We're gonna sell all this shit. 
Like, first we're gonna repair it, because we can repair it for a little... Uh, for free. And then we're gonna sell it. How does that plan sound, everybody? I know, I am a genius. And we're also gonna sell those cigarettes. Cigarettes. Oh. Kind of freezing because there are way too many rains recently, and yeah, I heard you singing, so it's a good time. Aw, you heard me singing. I'm glad. I wanted to share that with all of you. Ooh, what's this now? That's a detour. Oh, actually, that's a dead end, isn't it? So this is the way to go. Nobody said bless you? That's true. That's true. I haven't had time to play the last two weeks, but I've put in a couple of hours. I'm terrible at combat, but it's fun. Oh, Mass Effect? Yeah, Mass Effect is nice. Oh. We're seeing stuff now in front of our face. That's not good. We need to get to gas station quickly. Just to sell all the shit that's, like, flying around in our car, and... Ooh... How about that? Fuck me. <gasps> Hella fucking Luya. Did you guys see what's in there? It's fucking cigarettes. That's the fucking mother load, if I've ever seen it. More stuff to glitch into our car! Woohoo! I love this game. It was such a feeling of, like, success. When you sell a lot of shit and get really rich. You're like, fuck yeah. Should be the way it is in real life, but it's not. <laughs> well, to be fair, I have money. It's just gonna have to spend it as well. Where's the fucking... Oh my god, did we just not find the gas station? We never found the gas station! It was somewhere on the way, but we never found it. Okay, well, there's a gas station in town, though, so that's not... That's not bad. <laughs> Get rich or die trying. Planets any good? Which Mass Effect are you playing right now? The first one? Oh, that's right. Hungary had, like, a very small city. Ooh, spacey. Alright. Gonna go to the gas station. Oh my god, I can't even see! Help! Help, I can't see shit! There we go. Oh my god. That's the downside of doing things this way. 1990s, no Google Maps. Absolutely right. Hello. I wonder, can I use that crowbar? Haha, <laughs> that's hilarious. Okay, so I got a lot of shit to sell you, lady. I hope you're prepared. I'm playing the first, yeah. Alright. First one is good, but it's not the best by far. Uh, let me get all of this shit out of the car first. Do you watch foreign shows on Netflix or Amazon Prime, by the way? Um, not really. I've I've tried that once, though. Like, watching foreign shows. Like, I've watched uh, Alfred Jodokus Quack in, uh, in Dutch. And Dutch is actually really easy at some point. Okay, the sell value didn't really increase all that much. 
Well, I can still sell those, though. No point in not doing it. Like, non-German or non-English. Never really tried anything else beyond Dutch. To be quite honest with you. Oh, well, that's pointless then. After watching Dark, I kind of wanted to get into that more. What's Dark about? And what language is that? I mean, the planets I've been on were either in the rover, where you see some nice scenery, or in said buildings. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter what that it is a different planet. Aw. I mean, when you're in the rover, I think it pays off. So, we've got a lot of tobacco to sell. What about the medicine? Do we want to sell the medicine? You could sell it for a lot more. So, I feel like we shouldn't. I feel like we should hold on to that a little while longer. Oh my god, we're getting so fucking rich, guys. Look at this shit. What about the wine? Ah. Bullocks. Okay, we're gonna sell all of this shit. Dark is a hype German show. Really damn good. Really? I've never heard about it. <gasps> Look at that! Holy fuck, guys. We're getting so damn rich. Pablo Escobar, Road to Riches Simulator. Yep. Yeah, I was trying to remember the name of that space game everybody hated a few years, a year or two ago. Procedurally generated planets that all looked alike. Uh, no Man's Sky, I think you mean. We got an achievement, boys. Hungary, because we put so much money in the economy. Oh, um, I know what you mean. Damn, what what is it called again? Wasn't it called No Man's Sky? Dark is a Netflix original show, so it might be because of that. Oh, yeah, it might be, actually. I don't have a Netflix account anymore. I used to, but German Netflix didn't have much stuff to go on, so I was like, eh, it's not worth it. With all this money, I can buy that fucking tool rack upgrade. And I'm gonna start repairing some shit here, because... Holy shit. Actually, I should buy that upgrade first. If it's even available. No man's lie. Oh no. I hope it is available. I want that updates, upgrade so fucking bad. And now I have enough money for it. Please. Yes! Order! Wait, what, what was that other one you had? A fucking roof rack? That kind of sounds good. Thank you, Skook. No Man's Sky. Get over 35. Our names are gone from memory. Aw. Oof, a little expensive, though. Yeah, the tool rack is expensive, but it's worth it. Actually, I'm not sure it is. But you buy less stuff. Kind of thinking about the roof rack as well. You know what? Fuck it. We have the money. Let's do it. Okay. Teile Katalog. Teaching you German with the best games. We have a hundred bucks now. Which should be enough for the motel. What price? 25. Yeah, it's enough. Hell yeah! And the tool rack. How do I install that? Hell yeah! <laughs> it gives us the silver wrench! Repeat after me. The silver wrench can uh, repair to three out of four durability. Isn't that fucking good? We don't need to buy a thing ever again. Because it's never going to get bad enough for us to. And the roof rack, of course, gives us that much more space. We can literally put stuff on top of there. Let me demonstrate. Isn't that fucking good? Alright, we should probably not buy anything else for the time being, though. Um, we can put that 
repair kit in the trunk now, though. All right. I think we're good, then. For all the tobacco. <laughs> Damn straight. What's that lighting up? You know what I just figured? We might as well also buy, uh... Nah, fuck it. We have enough fuel. And I don't think we're ever gonna need that fuel can. Like, ever. The power of technology! I know, it's so good. I'm so glad we did this. I'm so glad we decided to play Jalopy. Now I have a better car. Even though it's still a Jalopy. <laughs> Still not a good car. Well, hold on a second. I like this car, okay? Fuck. Jalopy Part 2 Organized Crime Simulator. I mean, we did just sell a whole bunch of banned goods. So, yeah. Yes. Okay, here you go. Jump change! Sure, sure, whatever. Watch us just going bankrupt because we don't have enough money for the next motel. Fuel is for babies. Real men push it with their bare hands. We could do that. Actually, you can do that in this game, I think. Let's try that out tomorrow. Oh, you got a nap? Yeah, you have to nap each time you reach a city because it's nighttime and uh, you need to be ready to take the next route. We're currently in Litenia in Hungary. And we're going to cross the border over to... Uh, what was it? Bulgaria? I think it was Bulgaria. No, Yugoslavia, sorry. Yugoslavia doesn't really exist anymore. Importing of meat halted in Yugoslavia. Alright, so sausages are really good in Yugoslavia right now. Real men use rocket fuel. Oh boy. Okay, textiles are 7, 0 0.7, medicine is 9.9, .9. that's fucking inexpensive as shit. Okay, I th oh, we need to select the route, of course. Okay, so, Yugoslavia, I think. Yep. Uh, to D Dubrovnik. Let's take one of those. Which one, though? Hmm... Rather route one. <laughs> That's a little cheaper, good point. I like the way you guys think. Okay, let's see. 2.1 for coffee beans, 8.5 for medicine. The wine got a little more expensive. But other than that, eh. So the importing of meat is not allowed, which means sausages will be probably the only thing that's banned. Uh, actually, guys, I think this is a pretty good spot to save and quit. Because uh, we've gone a little past the normal time, and I'm seriously literally melting. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna dip out of here really quickly. You're gonna melt on the bed? I'm gonna melt on the bed. I'm gonna mold with a bed, because I'm gonna melt onto it. So, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Alright guys, some closing words of any of you. If you want to, I won't just immediately leave. I'm, I'm gonna give you like five minutes to say what you want to say to my face. Actually, you're not necessarily saying it directly to my face, because... Goodbye. Okay, well, fine. <laughs> Laters. Um, Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's stream. It was a lot of fun playing some jalopy and talking some to, to you guys. It was really interesting to see that you guys actually uh, were like active in chat despite me playing a game where it's like a lot of like not talking and just driving. And it was, it was nice. It was nice. Thank you so much for sharing that experience with me. I hope I'm going to see you next time. I'm not sure when it's going to be. Probably Sunday uh, at around 6 p.m. CEST as it's summertime again. But if not, I might stream before then or after then. I don't know. I can't say for sure. But just follow an eye on my Twitter and on Discord and you're going to know. Last time I played myself, that didn't sound right. <laughs> 
Don't die, Skook. Good luck with insurance and growing ups type stuff. Thank you. Alright, been with the gloves on most of the time, so kind of lurking this time. Thanks for the stream. Thank you guys for watching. It is hard to be active on a game that is not my type. That's true. That's true. But you guys were very talkative, and I really appreciate that. It's, it's the force that keeps me going. <laughs> Alright, guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week, if I don't see you until the end of it. And, um... Yeah, enjoy the rest of your evening. Go hug a bear. P wait, actually, don't do that. Go hug your cat, your dog, whatever animal you might have. Maybe you have a bear. In that case, go hug that. Um, if you don't have a pet, then hug a relative. If you don't have a, <laughs> if you don't have a relative close by, hug a friend. And if you don't have any friends, come and hug me. I live in Germany. It's not that far. <laughs> Alright guys, love y'all. Until next time. Goodbye. Goodbye everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye.